Roger with Williamson Foundation Repair. Again, we're talking about the primary differences between concrete pilings and steel pilings, steel piers. Um, when you would choose one versus the other. The concrete piling is going to work in most applications. The main purpose of using this is because it is going to be the least expensive method available. Now, it does offer the most resistance, so it's going to put the most pressure on the house. Steel piers are highly preferable in areas with a lot of subsurface water. So if your house is lakefront, or if you're in an area that just has a lot of subsurface water flow, areas like Carrollton, Irving, Grapevine, Rockwall, anywhere where you've got lakes and underground springs, uh, the steel pier is much more uh, beneficial in those areas because it will go deeper. It'll go through those waterways and into the rock. Uh, it also interlocks, so in those high water areas, you have a lot of lateral soil drift, which can push these apart. These can't come apart. There's no way. And so for high water situations, the steel pier is definitely advantageous. Also advantageous if you have a lightweight structure where there's just not a lot of weight to be able to develop a lot of force to push against. These concrete pilings aren't going to work well under lightweight structures. The steel pier is going to work much better. Uh, and then last, if you have a particularly heavy structure, even though it offers a lot of resistance for these to press against, the steel piers will handle about three times the amount of actual weight as the concrete pilings. Uh, while these are great and if you have a heavy structure, you have a lot of weight to push these in with, they also can shear from force. So they can actually break, shear, crumble, whereas these will not under almost any amount of load that you can think of.